Have you ever woken up in the middle of the night, heart pounding from a terrifying dream? We've all been there, haven't we? A sudden jolt from sleep, heart racing, sweat trickling down your forehead as you try to shake off the remnants of a nightmare. This universal experience is a common thread that binds humanity together, irrespective of age, culture or background. Nightmares, my friends, are an enigma wrapped in a riddle, shrouded in the cloak of the night. They are as diverse as the people who have them. For some, they might involve being chased by a malevolent entity, while for others it could be the fear of losing a loved one. Some might dream of catastrophic events, and yet others might find themselves in situations that defy the laws of physics. Nightmares can be as bizarre as they are terrifying, and as mystifying as they are unsettling. They are a universal phenomenon, a shared human experience that transcends geographical boundaries, cultural divides, and linguistic barriers. From the cradle to the grave, we all have nightmares, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Nightmares are a part of our lives, as real as the air we breathe, and as tangible as the ground beneath our feet. They are a product of our minds, a manifestation of our fears, anxieties, and insecurities. They are a mirror that reflects our deepest, darkest thoughts and feelings. But where do these nightmares come from? What causes them? Why do we have them? These are the questions that have baffled scientists, psychologists and dream analysts for centuries. Despite numerous studies and research, the world of nightmares remains largely unexplored and misunderstood. In this video we delve into the mysterious world of nightmares and attempt to unravel their secrets. We will explore the science behind nightmares, their connection with our subconscious, their impact on our health and ways to cope with them. So brace yourselves as we embark on this fascinating journey into the realm of the unknown. Nightmares, as unsettling as they might be, are a natural part of the human experience. But what causes them? Let's delve into the science behind these nocturnal disturbances. Nightmares are intense, disturbing dreams that can be so vivid and realistic they jolt you awake from a deep slumber. They can leave you feeling terrified, anxious or profoundly disturbed, often setting your heart pounding with fear. But why do we experience them? The answer lies in the intricate workings of our brain during sleep. You see, sleep isn't just a passive state of rest. Rather, it's a complex and dynamic process that involves several stages. One of these stages is known as rapid eye movement or REM sleep, and it is during this stage that most dreaming, including nightmares, takes place. During REM sleep, our brain activity increases, resembling the patterns seen when we are awake. Our brain is bustling with activity, processing the events of the day, forming memories and playing out scenarios in the form of dreams. However, sometimes this process can take a darker turn, resulting in nightmares. Nightmares may be triggered by various factors. Stress, trauma, certain medications and even late night snacking can influence our dreams content. They can also be a manifestation of underlying mental health issues like anxiety or depression. Moreover, nightmares are more common in children who have a more active imagination and are still learning to distinguish reality from fantasy. But they can occur at any age and are not necessarily indicative of an underlying problem. Interestingly, nightmares may also have an evolutionary purpose. Some scientists theorize that they might have served as a kind of rehearsal for potential threats, helping our ancestors survive in a world filled with danger. So, nightmares are a result of our brain's activity during our sleep cycle, but that's not all there is to it. The science behind nightmares is a fascinating blend of psychology, neurology and even evolutionary biology, showing us yet another dimension of the complex and intriguing world of human consciousness. Our minds are complex and so is the process of dreaming. Could our subconscious be painting these terrifying images? When we delve into the psychological theories behind nightmares, we find many intriguing perspectives. Psychologists suggest that our subconscious mind uses nightmares as a canvas to express the emotions we suppress during our waking hours. Stress, trauma and fear, the usual suspects, often take the lead roles in these nocturnal dramas. Imagine your mind as a vast, intricate web. Each strand represents a different thought, memory or emotion. 
When we're awake, we're able to manage these strands, keeping them neatly sorted and controlled. But when we sleep, our conscious mind takes a back seat, allowing our subconscious to take the reins. This is when those unprocessed, tangled strands of stress and fear can manifest as nightmares. Consider trauma a shadowy figure that lurks in the depths of our subconscious. When we experience traumatic events, our mind sometimes struggles to process the emotions associated with them. These unprocessed emotions don't just disappear. They hide away in our subconscious, biding their time until we're asleep. Then, under the veil of darkness, they emerge as vivid, disturbing nightmares. And then there's Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, who proposed a fascinating theory about dreams. According to Freud, our dreams, including nightmares, are a reflection of our repressed desires or unresolved issues. He believed that our subconscious uses dream symbolism to communicate these hidden aspects of our psyche to our conscious selves. So the monster chasing you in your nightmare might not be just a monster. It could represent a problem you're running away from in your waking life, the steep cliff you're about to fall off. Perhaps it symbolizes a fear of failure or a sense of impending doom. In essence, our nightmares, as terrifying as they are, might be trying to tell us something. They could be our subconscious mind's way of bringing our attention to the issues we've been neglecting or the fears we've been trying to ignore. Our nightmares, then, could be a window into our subconscious, revealing our deepest fears and unresolved issues. Could our nightmares be trying to tell us something about our health? It's an intriguing question. Nightmares, those unwelcome visitors in the dark of night, might just be more than figments of our subconscious mind. They could be subtle indicators of underlying health problems. Let's consider mental health, for instance. Research suggests that frequent nightmares are more common in people with conditions like anxiety and depression. It's as if the brain, under the strain of these disorders, projects these fears and tensions into our dreams, turning them into vivid and often frightening nightmares. Interestingly, the relationship between nightmares and mental health disorders is not one way. Nightmares themselves can exacerbate mental health conditions, creating a vicious cycle. Imagine waking up night after night, heart pounding from a terrifying dream. This could heighten feelings of anxiety and make it even more difficult to achieve restful sleep, further aggravating mental health symptoms. But mental health is not the only area where nightmares may play a role. Certain physical health issues can also trigger nightmares. Sleep apnea, for example, a condition where a person's breathing stops and starts during sleep, can often lead to nightmares. This is thought to be due to the brain's reaction to the lack of oxygen. And then there's the impact of certain medications and substances on our dreams. Some medications, including certain types of antidepressants, blood pressure drugs and sedatives, can lead to nightmares. Similarly, substances like alcohol and recreational drugs can disrupt our sleep patterns and make nightmares more likely. So, while we often dismiss nightmares as mere quirks of the mind, perhaps we should pay more attention to them. They might be more than just scary stories our brain concocts in the middle of the night. They could be our body's way of signaling that something is amiss. Our nightmares, it seems, could be a signal from our body, warning us of underlying health issues. Nightmares can be distressing, but there are ways to deal with them. The fear and anxiety that nightmares bring can be truly unnerving, but fear not, for there are methods to cope with these nocturnal intrusions. Firstly, maintaining a healthy sleep routine is essential. Our bodies thrive on routine, and sleep is no exception. Strive for a consistent bedtime and aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. The quality of sleep matters as much as the quantity. So ensure your sleep environment is quiet, dark, and cool. Avoid stimulating activities before bed. And yes, this includes scrolling through your smartphone or watching that one last episode on your favorite streaming service. Now, if nightmares persist and start to affect your day-to-day -day life, don't hesitate to seek professional help. A trained therapist can provide you with the tools to understand and manage your nightmares better. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, is a proven technique that can help alter the thought patterns that lead to nightmares. Then there's a specific technique known as imagery rehearsal therapy. 
This method involves rewriting your nightmare script during your waking hours. You visualize the nightmare and then consciously change its ending into something positive or neutral. This new narrative is then rehearsed in your mind, providing a sense of control and altering the way your mind processes the dream during sleep. However, it's important to remember that self-care extends beyond the night. Regular exercise, a balanced diet and mindfulness practices can contribute to overall mental well-being, which in turn can alleviate the frequency and intensity of nightmares. While these strategies can be helpful, it's crucial to remember that everyone is unique and what works for one might not work for the other. It's about finding what techniques suit you best and being patient with yourself throughout the process. Remember, nightmares might be scary, but they are a normal part of human experience and there are ways to manage them. So, the next time you wake up from a frightful dream, take a deep breath and know that you have the power to cope. Nightmares might be distressing, but could they serve a purpose? This is a question that has intrigued researchers and dream enthusiasts alike for centuries. Today, we delve into the possible benefits of these terrifying nocturnal narratives. Let's start with the idea that nightmares might be a form of emotional processing. This theory suggests that nightmares are our brain's attempt to deal with unresolved emotional issues. They act like a high-stakes rehearsal, allowing us to confront our fears and anxieties in a safe environment. In other words, nightmares could be a therapeutic tool, helping us navigate the labyrinth of our emotional lives. A terrifying dream about a looming exam or an important presentation at work could be our brain's way of preparing us for these stress-inducing events. Another fascinating theory posits that nightmares might be a survival mechanism. This idea, known as the threat simulation theory, suggests that nightmares serve as a training ground for real-life threats. Imagine being chased by a ferocious beast in your dream. As terrifying as it might be, this scenario could be your brain's way of preparing you for potential dangers in the waking world. It's akin to a flight simulator for pilots, allowing us to practice our responses to threatening situations in a risk-free setting. In addition, some psychologists propose that nightmares might serve as a reflection of our personal growth. They believe that as we navigate through life's challenges, our nightmares evolve, mirroring our personal journey. This means that a shift in the nature of our nightmares could indicate a significant change in our lives, providing us with valuable insights about ourselves. To sum up, while nightmares can be distressing, they might serve a multitude of purposes. They could be a tool for emotional processing, a survival mechanism, or even a mirror reflecting our personal growth. So next time you wake up from a nightmare, Instead of dismissing it as a bad dream, consider what it might be trying to tell you. Perhaps our nightmares, as unsettling as they might be, are not entirely without purpose. So why do we have nightmares? Let's take a moment to recap what we've explored in our journey through the enigma of nightmares. We've delved into the science, psychology, and health implications of these nocturnal disturbances, and we've looked at how we can cope with them. Our journey began with the recognition of nightmares as a universal human experience, an enigma that has intrigued and perplexed us since time immemorial. We can all recall a night where we've woken up with a pounding heart, soaked in sweat from a dream too terrifying to forget. We then moved on to the science behind nightmares. We learned that nightmares occur during the REM stage of sleep, when our brain is most active. It's during this stage that our most vivid dreams and unfortunately our most terrifying nightmares occur. We also learned that external factors such as stress, trauma or certain medications can trigger more frequent and intense nightmares. From the scientific we ventured into the realm of the subconscious. Here we learned that nightmares can be a reflection of our deepest fears, anxieties and unresolved issues. They can serve as a mirror reflecting the turmoil within our psyche that we may not even be consciously aware of. Our exploration then took us to the intersection of nightmares and health. We learned that persistent nightmares can be a symptom of underlying health issues such as sleep disorders, mental health conditions and even certain physical ailments. 
But it's not all doom and gloom. We also discussed ways to cope with nightmares. We learned about techniques such as imagery rehearsal therapy, where you rewrite the ending of your nightmare while awake, and lucid dreaming, where you learn to control your dreams. We also discussed the importance of maintaining good sleep hygiene and seeking professional help if nightmares persist. Perhaps the most intriguing part of our journey was the exploration of the purpose of nightmares. We discovered that nightmares might not be entirely negative. They could serve a vital function, preparing us for real-life threats and helping us process traumatic events. In essence, nightmares are more than just scary dreams. They are a complex interplay of our brain activity, subconscious mind and health. They can be distressing, yes, but they also hold the potential for self-awareness and personal growth. As we conclude our journey, remember that understanding nightmares is a continuous process. We've made significant strides, but there's still much to learn. Nightmares, it seems, are a complex and fascinating part of the human experience, one that we are only just beginning to understand.